Um, so bad timing was 1980, and that's the next clip we're going to see. And I just want to, from my experience, I had gone to film school in 78. And I was still in film school, and we all heard about this amazing film that we needed to go see. So I remember that several of my classmates and I went to see Bad Timing, A Sensual Obsession with Teresa Russell, and I was stunned. And uh, so you can imagine what an honor it is now, full circle, to come back to actually get to work with Teresa Russell. So let's watch Bad Timing. Well, it's just an invitation to the blue. You want me to tell you I slept with someone? Is that what you want? We fucked? Do you believe that? Is that what you want to believe? What do you want to know? The truth? No, you don't call it a lie. What do you want to do? Go up and make love? Go up and fuck? You want us to do that? You want me to do that? What is it you want? I love you. <laughs> I don't love you. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to do because of that? Kill myself? Would you be sure then? Huh? Would you? Thank you. <laughs> Nicholas Rowe was um, known for um, being interested in using pop stars or, or, or famous people in, in roles. And I don't think Art Garfunkel had ever done any acting per se before that. He was in Carnal Knowledge, I think. Oh, that's right, sorry. Yeah, but, yeah. So that was the only, okay, so, so, so I just, I think I just, very general question on this film. What was it like working in, in that particular role? And it was, a, for us, and we were in film school and thought we were incredibly edgy, but when we saw that film, we said, there's a really edgy film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I read the, that script and I was absolutely just blown away by it. And and then I started watching Nick Rogue films, and I thought, oh my God, oh, I just have to have this. It's a, it's a, it was a weird thing that was like when you're a green young actress, you know, you think, oh, they just gave me the chance, and I could show them all, you know, I just give me a really difficult meaty role like that. I know I can do it. And, then I got what I wish for. <laughs> and oh my god, that was something else. Um, actually, after the first day of, of shooting, we were in Vienna, and, and both Art went back to his hotel room. I went back to my hotel room and was crying. It was like, oh, I'm ever going to do this. I want to go home. This is awful. I can't do this. And it was just like, he, he was just rewrote stuff and just gave it to us, and I couldn't get what I needed from Art, and it was just like, oh, God, this is dreadful. But that was just the first day, and then <laughs> <laughs> I happened to just... I, I'll have to say, this is my favorite film for lots of reasons. I mean, it was um, a huge period of growth. Um, just, I don't know what it was. Thank you.